Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Demolish and Build 2018. The sun is just rising over the mountains over there and we are looking at purchasing a brand new cement mixer. Now, we would have a look in here and see how much this bad boy is going to cost. This is $8,000, we have $11,000, so we can afford that one. The only issue we have now is that um, we, we no longer have the cash to buy the new area that we wanted to get, which was this one in here, Dorfenberg. We want a brick house. And if you show this one on the map, that one is right there. But it's three and a half grand, and we no longer have three and a half grand, which is a little bit unfortunate. So what we're going to do is we have a look in our properties, and we have a look at the Gold Valley. That one there is busy being built. We've got Charles Simon on the job, and he's got a few minutes left. But if we have a look in the gold mine over here, we've got 9 of 10 resources ready. So we could go along and we could earn a bit of cash. So if we assign a worker there, John J. Weekly is ready and waiting. Sell, resources sell price 1800 higher price 188 We will assign him to the job. And plus 1612 that's an instant, that is. Instant. So we've now got 4,800, which means we've got enough to go and buy the brick house that we want. We won't take the um, the truck with us. We'll go there to the brick house. We will show that one on the map, and then we will go there. Yes, except we want to go there. Perfect. And here is the brick house property one. We have a look in here. We now have the concrete mixer. We have the backhoe loader. We have the excavator, and we have the cargo truck. We've got everything we could possibly want. 3,500 buy this property we have got 1200 left no materials are required fill the foundations push the trees out apparently you don't need foundation you you don't need to go and buy the cement with the cement mixer you just um it, it turns up with all the concrete on board already we don't need to worry about it um assuming that it all goes down into these bits around here and we don't put anything in the middle that is used for something else possibly even a um a, a pad we're going to uh, build a concrete pad in there quite well possibly I'm, I'm not really sure at the moment we need to push the trees out where do we push the trees to this, this is uh ooh, okay um i'm not entirely sure where we're supposed to push the trees we'll find out let's let's get started we want to be able to where's our parking there is the parking spot over there so if we summon the backhoe load oh no this um Let's not beat this, the sign down. We don't we, we don't want to do that. We want to actually be able to work here in the future. We don't want people to dislike us if we go around vandalizing all the properties. So we'll come up through here. And I'll just ease across the road a little bit. There we go. And round here. Right, I can start lowering that blade down. And now, where am I supposed to put the trees? I'm looking around here. I'm not really sure it says push the trees out I don't know what that means I'm, I'm genuinely unsure as to what it means by push trees out it could literally mean anything it could mean push them out of the area it could mean push them out of the just just this bit here that we're in it could mean remove them from the entire property I, I really have no idea at the moment this, this is something that I'm a little bit confused about and I'm also not entirely sure how I'm supposed to push them either. Something like this, I would guess. Go like that. Nope. Hmm. Maybe if I... I'm going to try pushing one of them over this way a bit. So it goes out of these circles. Oh, that's all we got to do is we just got to push them back. We don't have to... I was I was thinking that maybe we'd have to take them all the way out to the entrance. So I thought, well, that's, you know, that, that is a, a lot of work, really. That's, that's a huge undertaking to be able to get them out that entrance. I mean, I am t I am tempted to take one of these and try and shove it out that way. We'll see, we'll see if we can do that. Let's let's do that with this last one. We'll see if we can push it all the way out. John J. Weekly has ended work on your land property, small gold mine. Yeah, well, that's okay. We, we already knew he was going to do that. We got, we got the money fairly quickly for that one. They paid us in advance. It's always good when you get paid in advance. Charles Simon has finished working on your property, wooden house. Let's go and take a look at our wooden house here now. All up and running. Look at that. We own all of them. So we've got the brick house that we're doing here. I'm going to employ some people here soon. We're going to need some more money. Because then we'll be wanting to move on to the next location. I'm not quite sure where the next location is. Well, apparently this tree is fine where it is. I'd like to push it right out of the area though. I'd like to push it out onto the road. That's, my, that's, that's what I'm going to try and do here. I'm going to push it out onto the road. 
and stop the traffic. I know I just said that I don't want to upset the people that I live with around here. Um, I take that back. I, I, I don't really, I, I don't really mind. We, we, we can put it across the road, and we'll let's see if anybody gets upset. If, if they complain, if they want to complain, that's fine. They can come and complain. We have a complaints department. Um, you just, you just got to ring the number and then hope that one day someone will pick up. That is, that is my complaints department. And just put that one down there like that. Yes, 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 yes. We've got it lifted up the first bit. Now I just got to push it forward and get it right across that road without um, flipping the digger around too much. Bring that forward. There we go. Right. Slow that round. Bring it over this way. There we go. And nailed it right across the road now i just need some traffic to turn up there, there there's been traffic going past but it's been a little bit sparse where's the traffic there it is there is traffic traffic is coming is it going to smash into that tree or is it going to stop what are you going to do what are you going to do it's going it's, it's to stop it's going to stop i've caused a traffic jam there we go look at that it's a traffic jam it's it's, it's cute for miles cute for miles sort of um, anyway, I have caused a traffic jam. I have caused problems. I have caused I've caused issues. I am I am an issue causer. This is this is this is something quite new for me. Actually, okay, let, let's be honest. This is not something new for me at all. Um, me me being me being a problem for people that might be nearby is um, something that seems to regularly happen. Um, so we will ignore that and we'll move on. So let's see. We want the concrete mixer. I, I, how do I get it? There we go. How do we use this thing? I don't know how to... Use. We've got a... It looks like we've got a conveyor there. So we've, we've got a long conveyor as well. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. So we'll use that one. And we, we just want to come over to the construction site. We're going to need to unfold the conveyor. So let's bring this one over here. And it's not sitting very well, is it? Let's uh, We press tab and we'll move on to this. And let's, let's see what happens. Oh. Okay, that just p that pumps concrete out if you press the mouse. Either of the mouse buttons pumps concrete out. The up and down buttons do that. There we go. I see. I get how this one works. I'm going to just press H a minute. So what do we got? Arm one. Arm two. So I can lift that up. There. And then, and then that one comes out. And then A and D, they rotate. So if I do this, and then I bring the truck back over here like this, it pumps it out the front. This is very unusual. You, I've, I've never seen a um, cement lorry that does it like this. I've, the, the cement lorries I've always worked with have, um, is, is always quite a bit different to that. But yeah, that one comes over there like that. There we go. And then lower the main arm down. Oop, no, I want to go that way. There we go. I think that's about right. Right there, look at that. Look at this. And then, so we have an actual cement lorry doing this, uh, doing doing everything that we want to do. I think that's about right there. So let's let's try. Yes, it's filling. It's actually filling. Oh, you can't just pour it in this one spot and have it fill the whole thing. It doesn't work like that doesn't auto it, do, it doesn't like self level and I've got uh, extra bits here as well so I'm gonna lift that one up and then bring that in and I can fill this bit like that there we go oh this is brilliant this is absolutely brilliant let's bring that one in there we go and then we can put a bit more in there I, I, I just want to um, move that out so that we can... Oh, no, 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 no. There we go, there. So we filled that bit. And then I want to bring that one round into this area here. And start filling that one. Look at that. Oh, that is fantastic. And it's, it's leveling out as well. It's actually leveling out as, as it goes. So if I, I just want to... I can bring that one out like that. That's as far as it'll go. So we're not able to, like, push it out a really long distance. But still, I'd say that was pretty acceptable. Let's zoom in a little bit. There. I'm going to fill this one. I'm going to pump as much concrete as I can into here. See how wooden house has generated income. Excellent. 
we do that. Is it going to self-level out a little bit more? Doesn't seem to want to self-level very much. I'm going to swing this one round a bit. And we'll try and put a bit more in over this side. Because that's as that is as far as it will reach back. We're gonna need to we're gonna need to drive. We, we're gonna need to take a little drive. So let's let's drum let's go back this way a bit. There we go. I can actually just do it like this. If, if I press the mouse button while I'm doing this, no, you, you do have to switch over. You have to switch over to it. So we have to go like this and then switch over. And there we go. Oh, that is fantastic. That is absolutely brilliant. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah, that's, that is as far out as we can go with it. Okay, i got to bring it back this way a bit. Nope, nope. We want to go up, and then we want to swing it over this way here. And we'll put some more in there. I am overfilling it a bit, but it does seem to sort of auto-level after a while, so it, it seems all right. Oops. I don't want to be tipping it in there. Let's bring that back in there and fill that bit up. That's better. Right, now we can switch over again and back up here. There we go. Keep backing up. Back up a bit more. And then I can get both of these sections done. So I'll switch over again and I'll swing it round a bit like that. There we go. Nice. Oh, it comes right round the front. Ah, that makes a difference again. Bring that back that way and then push it. Oh, no, too far, too far. There we go. Pour concrete in there like that. And I'll push it right out like that. And then I want to swing it round a bit more so that it goes right out to the corners. There we go. And then we can switch round. Oh, no, 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 no. I want, I want to do that. And then I want to start backing round like this. There. Nope, 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 nope. I keep, I keep pressing the wrong button. There, that's better. And then I can sort of go pretty much in a straight line back here. So I can dump a load in there and fill the front of that one up. And then just switch over and go almost straight back. I do want to just straighten it up a little bit. There. There we go. We'll fill that one up. And then I come back a little bit more. And we'll fill that one up. All the way up through. I've already done 1,200. Go back a bit more and fill. Yep, well over 1,200 now on filling this. And then to here. And then we'll do a bit more back over here like this. I've, I'm getting the hang of this now. I'm getting the hang of spreading concrete. This, this is fantastic. Spreading concrete. It's not spreading concrete. This, this is pouring concrete. Big difference between pouring and spreading. Trust me on this, I know the difference. Spreading concrete is a manual job, and it's it's lots and lots of hard work. And when I say lots of hard work, normally it is done when the sun is shining at its brightest. So you'll have a really, really baking hot day, and you'll have wheelbarrows, and you'll have concrete, and you'll be running around as fast as you possibly can trying to get this job done because you need to do it before the concrete starts to set and the cement mixer the company that uh, you know the, the cement lorry all tasks said how are you done i've got loads of it left to pour yet and is it, I, I feel cheated that it's saying that it's done already when i've got all of this over here that is still to go i'm not getting any bonus though am i no i'm not getting bonus okay we're, we're not going to do any more then finalize We've done our cement mixing. That was absolutely brilliant fun. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Right, uh, stage one of four. We've got a lot of work ahead of us on this particular job. I reckon we're going to be buying bricks. I reckon we're probably going to be buying timber. And we'll probably have to buy something else as well. Right. What else do we need? We need brick pallet five times. And then we want an excavator, a backhoe, a cargo truck, a pack lift, and a back lift on that one as well. Right, so I need to go and get some brand new five lots of bricks, and I don't think I've even got the money to do that. I did not lay, I didn't pour a concrete slab. That's a concrete slab over there, I didn't pour that. That doesn't seem right. It just seems wrong, I didn't, I didn't build that bit. That, that wasn't me. It's like somebody else has come along and, and has taken everything that I did, and it, it doesn't seem right. Right, brick supplier over here, let's go to you, and... Oh, I need a... I need a truck. 
So we'll go over here and we get our truck. And we'll see how much these brick packs are. I need five of them. Uh, cargo truck. That one right there. Uh, yep, that's the one. And it's actually lined up just right for us as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So let's go into here. So I just wanted to bring to your attention again that I'll be stopping this series very soon in order to go and play House Flipper for a little while because House Flipper is coming out next week. It is being released at long last. Something that we've been waiting for for quite a while. Uh, so I will be going to go and play 800. I don't have that kind of money. Five pack, only four grand for this. Okay, this is not going to happen. This is not going to happen right now. We need to go and get some more money. What are we going to do? I reckon... Well, we, we can go and do one of these jobs. Or we can... Uh, crawl a crane. Yeah, we had, that one's like 12 grand. We can't do that one. That one needs to crawl a... Here we go. The owner of one of the biggest shopping malls in this city. I recently bought this park and want it demolished. Three and a half grand. Excavator with a jackhammer. A backhoe loader. Alright, let's try this one. City Park. I'm going to get a, a Crazy Clown George Amusement Park. Let's go there. And then we want to go that way, just over there. So, yeah, I've got this um, thing. That, um, we're, we're switching over to play that, which means that this is the penultimate episode in this series for a little while. I will probably come back to this game later on. You all seem to quite enjoy this one. So, I've got... Um, one more episode to do after this so give me some suggestions in the comment section today what would you like me to do for my final episode here in this game do you want me to just concentrate on um like trying to unlock the next area do you want me to just have a play around is there anything in particular you want to see if not don't worry about it don't worry about um making suggestions uh, just give me your usual comments and i will do whatever sort of tickles my fancy on the final day i reckon we're going to be knocking down these and there's some lion statues as well. Last time we knocked down lion statues, though, it cost us our job. So I'm kind of hoping that this fella right here is, is not going to ask us to do something particularly nasty. Right, assemble the safety fence. Okay, we can do that. We can go around here. So we can assemble safety fences. And there, we've got a lot of, we've got a lot of fence that we've got. I suppose you do, really. If you're working in a public area like this, you do have to have these kinds of fences uh, assembled in order to keep people away from them. It's, it's, it's the only sensible thing that you can do, really. So we'll bring this one in here. I've got those, and that one, and that one. There, and there. Right, where's the rest of them? Where are, oh, there's, lo there's load, there is loads of them. There really is. Uh, and here, right, he's, I reckon he's probably going to keep the flower bed and he's getting rid of these little statue type things over here. And there's more over this way. We've got... Why have we got safety fences next to these pillars? Is he building something in here or is there something else going on with this particular bit? This one seems a bit odd, the way that's done. Um, this one doesn't though. This, this one's surrounding another lion statue that we're probably going to be knocking down. At least, at least I hope we do. I'd like to be able to knock down a lion statue without that uh, associated sense of guilt that we got because we we did the wrong thing. Um, um, although I think that was really down to our boss. He told us to go and do it purely so he'd have a reason to fire us. We we were the best employee he had, and he he knew that he couldn't afford to keep us any longer. Right. Demolish his statues and demolish the lion statue. So this is the ordinary statues, by the look of it. If I do that, yes, yes, we, we've got lots of statues. We've also got these walls to do. Uh, well, apparently it doesn't work with those. We are indeed... Oh, no, I might better do it with this one. Yes. I can do it with this one or I can do it with the backhoe. I can get the backhoe and I can just, like, ram them with the backhoe. We do this. Let's take the bottom out. There we go. Nailed it. Um, and it's, yeah, th this is the thing though. This is the thing. If if you knock, if you uh, like break all of it, you actually get more money. As long, as long as I break the whole thing, I get loads more cash. Bring that one down. All right, let's let's stop doing that a minute. I want to go over here and I want to see what happens with these. Let's knock those down. There we go. Look at that modern art. Bye bye modern art. You're not so good anymore, are you? Right. Um, it's just not... Yeah, every single little bit that breaks, we get money for. So those there. Now we've got these here. Can I break... I can't break the bottom bits. The plinth. Um, though it does need... Or it does have to all come down. What about the lion? Let me break the lion. I'm going to have to do this. Uh, we are not able to do anything to the lion. So 
First of all, let us find a parking spot so that I can summon up a digger. I, I want my digger here. And then when we've got the digger here, we will then worry about the next bit. Ah, here it is. Then we'll worry about getting the excavator here. So let's do that. Look at the money that's pouring in. This is fantastic. Uh, pick up, excavate, backhoe loader. That's the one that I want. There we go. Let's go to you and jump in. Right, this should be relatively easy. Right? In theory, this should be relatively easy. We, we lower this down like this. And boom. Boom. That's it. That's all we got to do. We just got to find these little bits and we just got to smash them like this. This is going to be fun. I think I'm going to enjoy this. There's another one there. Nice. Those have act those actually put up a bit of a fight. The, um, those do. But these pillars, the these pillars seem quite easy to get through. So let let's go to the next ones. Ooh. That slowed it down a bit. There we go. So if you hit it, if you hit it at speed, it slows it down a bit. Whereas if you do it slowly, it sort of goes through sensibly. We got six hundred and eighty-four dollars bonus already. Let's speed this up. Go on, a decent speed. Boom! <laughs> Brilliant. Right. Uh, where else have we got to go? There's more over there, and then there's a whole load over that way as well. Let's do that. Lower that one down a bit. There and through there. As long as I keep going through like this, I'm going to back up and just break the top bits as well so that we make sure that everything is broken. So if you smash it all up, we, we get more money, don't we? And then we come around this way. Now, what else have we got? We've got the lion statues over here, which we need to do with the excavator. We want to come down over here, and there's those unusual ones in there. We've got that one right there. Get them all broken, as long as we smash the whole lot. So we just back up in case there's any bits that get missed. We break them as well, and then we get more money. And we want, we're going to need a lot of money. The, the, bit, the, the reason that we need all this money is for the um, for the bricks. There's like 800 a pop, so there's $4,000 worth of bricks. But I reckon we're going to need more than that. I, I'm, I'm fairly certain that in order to build this house properly, we're going to need, on top of that, we're going to need yet more bricks delivered after we've put uh, sort of assembled the, the first bits of the house. Because there's there's four stages altogether. Now, most of the, the anything else, the, the most we've had is two stages. So we've, we've never done a four-stage construction job before. And this makes me think that we've got a lot more cash to fork out for being able to finish this job. Let's go in around here, as long as I can fit in there. Yep. Put that one down. Our poor digger is taking a bit of a beating. There. Put that one down. Back up. Get the rest of them. I don't think we're going to get round there. No. I'm not going to get round there. Unless I back up a bit and lift it up like this. Here we go. And I'm going to swing round this way. We'll go round this side. And then we'll push up. Why do they need defences like that? That genuinely makes no sense to me. Why would we have the fences that way? That, that really doesn't seem to, to work, as far as I'm concerned. Now we bring this one up through, and just easy does it. Now, we, we do actually have to strike it to make it work. If you get the top of the pillar to fall on the blade, it breaks it completely. Right, so that task is done. Is there any more around, or is that actually all of them? No, that's actually all of them. Right. Fuel is quite low on the backhoe loader. We'll have to keep an eye on that. But no, what we want for this one here is the jackhammer. So let's just equip that. And we can get going. There we go. Now, we've got the big job of the big lion. So we're going to go down. Well, uh, where, where's the first one? I've got four of them to do, I think. Yeah, there's four lion statues. So we go straight into this one here first. And... I'm just going to bring the excavator to this point and then I'll bring that out a bit like that and then lower it down. Now, if I can rotate that one out that way, I reckon that'll work a bit better because we'll be able to push it forward. There we go. Excellent. That's, that's, work, that's working well already. And I'm breaking most of it as well. There goes the lion statue. It's all breaking now. It's all falling apart. It's all falling apart. Fantastic. That's actually what I want. I want it to all fall apart. 
And I do, I also want to break these bits up. Look at that bonus that we're getting for doing this. That is a huge bonus and it's not actually costing us a lot of work. Uh, I will just lower that down just a little bit more, I think. Um, and I want to bring that up a bit. Yeah, let's, let's try that like that. So it's, it's sort of touching the ground already. There, so there's one done. Now we will head over this way and we should be able to go straight into that next lion statue. Coming through there. Can I get out? Yes, I will be able to get straight over that path without any problems. And then we're straight into the bottom of it, into the base of it there. I'll just back out a bit. There. That's all we need to do. Is we just sort of, as long as we can get the bottom of it in, we can then sort of swing round side to side, taking the rest of it out. There it goes. All falling down. This is actually fairly easy. Once you, once you get sort of used to where to put it, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. I reckon it would be a lot more fun to do this job in real life. I've never done it with a jackhammer, and I've never done it with an excavator this big. But I have done the job in real life, okay? I've, I have actually done this sort of thing in real life. Um, a dis destructive kind of activities like this. And trust me when I say it is a lot of fun, okay? It is a huge amount of fun to sit in an excavator and do stuff like this. It's, um, it, it's very, very satisfying to do. There's just something about it that is immensely pleasing to just um, drive into somewhere and then start smashing it into little tiny pieces. And I've done the job... Most most of the work that I've done with something like that has been with a little two-ton um, mini digger. So it's, it's only it's only a very small machine that I've used to do it. Um, but it's still loads and loads of fun. Just just even just the two-ton little mini digger is it's still really satisfying going in there and smashing stuff up because even one of those can do a massive amount of damage if if you set your mind to it. If if you if you choose very carefully where to. Um, hit with the bucket and so on and so forth it is loads and loads of fun i absolutely love doing that job it's probably of all of the jobs that you can do with a machine that is probably my favorite that is probably my absolute favorite there are other jobs i've done that are pretty close in um sheer enjoyment value but that one is probably my absolute favorite one um and i'm 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 someone who genuinely genuinely loves operating machinery and the only thing that I like doing more than operating machinery is playing computer games which is probably why being a youtuber for a living these days is um, you know it, 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 it does match me fairly well it, it I do get on fairly well with doing this job um, and contrary to popular belief though it, 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 it it's not making me into a millionaire it's um yeah I'd, I'd probably make more money if I was to spend my day sat in one of these knocking things down. And that would be a huge amount of fun, but it's not really something that I'm able to do. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll um, one day, maybe, I'll be able to go and buy one of these things and just, just drive it around purely for pleasure. I will, I, I'll buy a field, I'll, I'll, buy, I'll buy a little bit of land, and I'll, I'll, make, I'll start making a vlog where I get a whole load of, like, machinery and stuff and, and just play around with them and, and do different things with them. I think that could, I think that could be a fun, a fun vlog to do. So that, that's, that's, my, that's my aim, I think, because I know that there are a few people who said that I should start doing a vlog. That would be my vlog. I'll start doing a day, I'll start, well, I don't know about daily, but um, I'll start doing a regular vlog at, uh, when I'm able to uh, get a little bit of land and uh, start doing something like that. Right, I think I have done as much as I'm going to do right now. We've got two and a half thousand plus that there. Finalize. There we go. 5963 so $6,000 that puts that's that's a, a reasonable account balance now so that we can go on and we can um, buy the bricks that we need to buy and then we'll be able to go and deliver them and we'll probably be able to do a few other little tasks as well so let's go into here and we want to go to the brick not the tool shop the brick supplier right there that's where I want to go except and then I want to jump into this one and Press enter, and then I need five packs of bricks. What's that? I don't know what that is. Buy material, $4,000. Yes. There we go. Right, I now have $4,000 worth of materials, and I need to go... I don't know what my property is, so I need to do it like this. So we go there, and then I show on map, and I do that, and accept so that I can put a waypoint there. We've now got 
a waypoint. It's 750 meters over there, so it's not even a kilometer away. You'd have thought that they'd deliver the bricks for us. You got, I, I gotta be honest, I've done a lot of construction work in my time, and um, you know, I've, I've, I've done all kinds of jobs. I've done construction work and destruction work and, and more construction work and so on and so forth. Um, they always, we never have to go and get our own bricks. I've never had to go and get my own, I've never phoned someone up and said, I need a load of concrete blocks, and they said, yep, that's fine, come and pick them up. It doesn't happen, that's not how they operate. They always deliver. Delivery is included in the price. You don't even have to pay extra for delivery. Builders merchants in my country, well, in my part of the country, in, in my part of my country, I should say, here in the UK, in the southwest, in Cornwall, in the UK, um, if you want to go, if you want to build something, you phone up the builders merchants, you order what you want, and they deliver it for you. They don't make you go and get it. They're not going to turn around and say, yeah, you want seven tons of concrete blocks. That's fine. Come and get them. You stick them in the back of your car. It'll be fine. No, that doesn't happen. They don't do things like that. Right, let's accept tasks. I've got some property development to do now. Back up a bit. There we go. And we'll stop right there. So, uh, but yeah, um, anybody who doesn't live in the UK or rather, you know, outside of the southwest of the UK... Let me know what happens in the U in in where where you live. Do you have to go and get the stuff yourself, or does you know, the builders merchants just deliver it as part of the price? You know, is is it just something to do? You know, it's, it's all included in the price. Um, delivery is always free with the builders merchants. I've, I've never known anybody have to pay for it. If I'm doing something in my own home as a non-commercial customer, as just a um uh. I can't even think of the name now. Just like a, um, just just an ordinary, well, a, a non, just non, a non-commercial customer. So you know, as as just like a private individual, and I'm doing a little bit of work in my own home, and I and I need like a a bag of sand, um, or a, a single pack of blocks or something, or even just a few strips of timber. They still deliver it free of charge. You know, you don't have to pay anything extra for it. Uh, let's go into there, and oh, we're running low on fuel as well. Let's go to lift. I need the lift on this one. Equip. Where is the fuel station? Where is there a fuel station? Is there one? I don't recall seeing a fuel station. City Park, Crazy Clown, your office, Bell Towers, Old Bridge, Machine Shop. There isn't one. There is no fuel st How are we supposed to function without a fuel station? There's an old factory there, recreational plot. Maybe it's down there. I don't know. We, And I'm very low on fuel. I think I'm going to have to just order fuel in right now. I'm just going to have to do it like this. We're going to go into vehicles like that. We have to go to fuel there. 776? Good gravy. Uh, refilling at the gas station costs there. I know it does, but I don't know where it is. Where is the where is the gas station? Ha <laughs> ha! Of course, pile up. Okay, um, not a pile up. Ha ha! Of course, a pile up. No, I haven't caused a pile up. How insane! Uh, no, I, I I didn't mean that. Ha ha! Of course, a traffic jam. Not a pile up. Pile up. Goodness me. Um, no, I'm not laughing about pile ups. That's that's um no. No, I wouldn't do that. And those of you who watched anything more than like half an episode ever uh, would know full well that I would never actually mean that. Um, right. Now, let's just go round this way. I'm going to run these round to the back. Can I go over that concrete pad? That concrete pad is looking pretty good there. I cannot. Okay. Well, that's not realistic because I can assure you I'd be able to get this beastie over that concrete pad. And I wouldn't even need to put the arm down to lift me up over it. Okay. I, I could easily cope with doing that. So let's just let that one stop swinging around like crazy for a minute. And then, boom. Nailed it. We go and get the next one. I reckon that this is actually going to be pretty quick because before we've used the backhoe loader to do this a few times, and I think that this one is actually going to be a bit better because it picks them up a lot easier, doesn't it? Let's lower that one down. There we go, and straight back up again. I don't need to do anything else to it, so I want to go round the other side. Lignite mine has generated some more ore. I might employ an employee here very soon, and then we can send him off to go and load that up, and then I won't have to actually worry about it, because we've already done that. That that we've taken care of. We, we've dealt with that. We've seen how it works. Uh, let's drop that one down there. P look at that. Absolutely spot on. That was beautiful. Let's go and get the next one. 
We're racing back through here and we get... Um, yeah, there's only three more. I reckon that we're going to have to get at least one more load of bricks before we finish it here. Bring that up. We'll straighten us out again. And then round and round we go. Uh, we had another 300 there. So uh, all of our properties, they do actually generate a decent bit of income, don't they? Uh, let's wait for it to stop swinging around and then drop it. That wasn't quite... That That was that was off-center a little bit. I, I feel that we failed there, especially considering the performance of our previous pack of bricks. And by the way, dropping your packs of bricks from this kind of height in real life, uh, please don't do that. Just, just no, because um, if well, if you're doing this whilst working for somebody else, please don't do that. If you want to do it with your own packs of bricks, that's entirely up to you. I wouldn't recommend it though, because it's it's not going to end well. You're going to end up with probably a good half of those bricks all cracked and broken and no good to anybody. Is that in the right place? Not quite, is it? I need to just bring that over there. I reckon that's about right. Yep. Well. <laughs> it's not letting me <laughs> oh that's brilliant look i've let it go it's it's not letting me do it it's like holding it's suspended above i reckon there's like a hitbox in there <laughs> oh that is brilliant okay let's let's lower that one down just a teensy bit like that now it'll work <laughs> that's brilliant just suspended there in the middle of the air never able to do anything again Teleporting bricks. Some, yeah, I'm not really sure what I would do if that happened to me in real life. I'm, I'm genuinely not sure what I would do. I'd be torn between taking video of it to, um, you know, make a fortune, um, and uh, you know, running, and uh, run, running a very long way away because I'd be pretty sure that some really bad stuff was about to go down. Some, something really bad is about to go down if you if you've got something like that happening. I've seen films. I've seen all sorts of films. You just know that if something like that happens, there's about to be some kind of nastiness happen. I can't get in. I can't get in. Oh. All right, we'll go around the outside. There is something really bad is about to go down if, if, you've, um, if you've got something like that happening. You, you, you just know that this is the case. Right, so we have assembled our first layer of house. There it is, the first layer of house. We poured concrete in the foundation, and we have thrown up some brick walls here. And i got to say... Those walls went up a little bit faster than I anticipated. Um, I didn't think I'd be able to build them that fast. Like, ever. Like, just just never. Wooden House 2 is in maintenance. We've got to do something about that. Finalise the job. There we go. So we've done half of it now. We've got two more stages to go. Okay. We'll come out of here. We'll check what the stage is. We've got that house that we need to get somebody repairing. Very likely, that'll be John J. Weekly. Back on the task. Back on the job. Uh, let's go into here, and what else we got? We don't need any materials. Fill the floor with concrete, run over the bushes. Well, that's going to be a fairly easy job. So, um, th th that'll be quite simple. There's some bushes over there, I think. Uh, I don't know what else there is, but yeah, we've got to pour more concrete in there. Before we do that, we go to properties here. Recreational plot 2. This one's in maintenance. I don't have a worker. I have no workers here. And uh, also Gold Valley. Uh, this one right here. Assign. I cannot assign John J. Weekly. John J. Weekly is no good. Charles Simon will have to do. Right. I, I, I love that name. John J. Weekly. He just sounds so cool. Right. Workers. I need to hire a worker. We've got Maria Schaefer here, who's a two-star. We've got Paul Kohler. Thomas Jung. Torsten Kuster. Julia Theis. Christian Bader. Wolfgang Eisenberg. Wolfgang! I love this. I want Wolfgang to come and work for me, even though I'm probably going to need that four grand. I'm still hiring Wolfgang. Wolfgang, you are now mine. You are mine. I have some work for you to do, Wolfgang. We are going to go here. We're going to assign Wolfgang Eisenberg. Wolfgang, get to work. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. I love the name Wolfgang. It is such an awesome name. I, I, I don't know why. There is something very, very pleasing about the name Wolfgang. It's, um, I, I, I can't really put my finger on it. But anyway, it is 1640. It is, the, the day is coming to an end. It looks like we're going to be doing our next episode in the dark. I would very much like to be able to skip the night in this game. I really don't like the nighttime working aspect. I'd like to be able to have daytime work or just freeze time. 
Just have it like permanent daytime and let time pass, but um, permanent day, something like that. No. Skip night. That would be better. We want to skip night. Anyway, that is all we got time for today. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.